Okay, dear students, let us see what is there in this question. Two capacitors C1, C2 are connected in series to a cell. The capacitance of C1 is four times that of C2. So this we can assume as C and this will be assumed as 4C. The charge stored on C1 is Q1 and charge stored on C2 is given by Q2. What is the ratio of Q1 and Q2? Okay, so first of all, these two capacitors are in series combination. And what is the condition for the series combination? It's not that the two capacitors should be connected in series. That is, this is what I'm asking. Like, what is the actual definition for series combination? The actual definition for series combination is when the capacitors are having same charge on them. Then only we call that the two capacitors are in series. So clearly these two capacitors are in series. So charges will be same. And hence Q1 is equal to Q2. So Q1 by Q2 is equal to 1. And clearly the answer is C. There is no doubt in this. But let me have this opportunity to explain you what is actually happening in series combination. Why the charges are the same. And what is happening. And what is happening in the parallel. Please listen to this. Okay. Let us say that Q charge is coming from the battery. Q positive charge is coming from the battery. So this plate will become positive and here the positive Q is there. Okay. And I will say that this is having positive Q charge and this is also having positive Q charge. Ironically, it looks like that the battery has given only single Q. But both of the capacitors are having Q charge each. So isn't it uh, uh, like wrong understanding that the charge which is coming from the battery is Q but this is also having Q and this capacitor is also having Q. How can you explain this phenomena? Let me tell you this thing. Now this is the charge Q which is coming. So this plate becomes positive Q and let us say the negative charge is also going. So this is also becoming negatively charged. Isn't it? What about these two plates which are actually not connected with the circuit? Isn't it? There is air which is an insulator in between these two plates. So technically this charge is not jumping. So this charge is not traveling here. So induction is taking place. So induction is taking place and this becomes a negative charge. Same charge is induced on this. Clearly the same charge is induced on this plate also. So that is why I can say that C2 is also having a charge Q and C1 is also having a charge Q. Because overall the battery is releasing charge Q. All the other capacitors are getting charged because of induction. That is why they are having the same charge. And uh, the ironic thought that the charge released by the battery withdrawn from the battery is Q. But both of the capacitors are having a charge Q. So it is not that both of the charges are like 2Q charge should be coming from the battery. It is not like that. Okay, so this is what is the series combination. And now what is happening in parallel? Let me give you the definition for that. And then we can close the video. No problem. So in parallel combination, what is the definition? The definition is that the combination in which the potential difference across the two capacitors is the same. So if the potential difference across the two capacitors become equal to each other, we call them parallel combination. Clearly, this voltage will be V2. This voltage will be V2. So Q is equal to CV. When capacitances are not equal, Q is equal. How can V be equal? If capacitance is four times, then the voltage across them will become one fourth. So this will be V by four. This will be V. It's somewhat like that. So this is the difference between the series and parallel. Okay, dear students. So this is all about series and parallel combination. Thanks for watching the video. This is Professor Varun. Please join the YouTube channel if you want to know more concepts. All the best. Bye.